what I'm doing right now is uh, doing the detailing on these. These are legs made from Russian olive that will attach to the underside of this table. All right. So right now I'm going to sand everything and detail it. I guess is the way to say that. And uh, before I assemble this part into the mortise, which then this will bolt to the bottom side of the table. Uh, the table is made from uh, a wood called horse chestnut, and um, it's, a, it's a very coarse grain wood as you can see here. And I've used that to show, I'm, I've glued this together again with my curved glue joints, and I, I like the, the line that uh, it's a subtlety, there's no, you can't feel any change, but there's an obvious change in how the grain works. And uh, so it just adds, I think, to the flow of the piece and the kind of the sculptural uh, look. Just um, getting uh, the coarse sanding marks out and ridges and making things all flow together nice and smoothly. It's also a kind of a way to inspect uh, as I sand in the entire thing and make sure there's no gouges that are going to be unpleasant. Alright, so I'm going to glue the legs onto the tabletop, the underside, and also glue these uh, cross members, or rungs, um, you know, diagonally across. And I need for things to be all dry fit pretty much exactly where they're going to go. So I've made some little tiny punch marks up here, so I get these rungs in exactly the right location. You know, they'll twist a little bit. If I don't get those in the right place, then the center area won't line up correctly. So uh, now it's all dry fit, we'll take it apart and start applying the glue. And we'll only do two legs and one rung that are diagonal from each other. And then I'll take this side of them, these two legs and a rung, and I'll get those sanded and all prepped so that there's very, very little sanding to do once it's uh, assembled. there.